Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Raspberry Pi launches the Pi Zero W today on the fifth anniversary of the original Pi One launch. The Zero W sports the same Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip as the Pi Three B. It costs ten dollars plus shipping and local taxes. Since the Pi Zero release in November 2015, people have been conjuring up ingenious ways of getting it online, such as Ethernet via SPI soldering a Wi-Fi dongle on the back, Kickstarter projects for Ethernet add-ons, USB hubs providing extra ports, even an IoT FAT. It was clear that people could find a lot of uses for a Wi-Fi enabled Pi Zero. The potential for small Internet of Things devices is enormous. Coupled with the Raspberry Pi's software stack and community support, the Zero W should be immensely popular. And let's not forget that using a Bluetooth-enabled keyboard and mouse can free up the single onboard USB port for another device. Let's have a look around the board. Here you've got through holes for a 40-way GPIO header in the standard Pi layout. Here are two holes for the reset header, and there's also two holes for composite TV out. Here's the power circuitry and the micro USB power socket. Here you have the CSI camera port, and here's a micro USB OTG socket which you can use to plug in USB devices. Here's the radio chip and the circuitry that goes with that, and over here you have an antenna. We'll have a closer look at that in a moment. Here you've got the BCM2835 chip with the POP RAM memory on top, half a gigabyte. Here is mini HDMI connector, same as previous Pi Zero, and here is your micro SD card slot. Looking at the antenna, you can see it's made of a hole, effectively, in the copper pore, in all six layers, and the shape is what acts as an antenna. You've also got a couple of capacitors here, and it trails back to the radio chip here. This circuitry is pretty much the same as the Pi 3, so if you do a quick visual comparison, from there to there it's very little changed. This lot's been squished across. The antenna's new. This circuitry's new. And everything else is pretty much the same, although the power circuitry has been shifted about slightly. And there seems to be a new inductor here as well. The back is very little changed from the previous version, so we've got the 1.3 at the top and the W here. So you've got a bunch of test pads, these are all still the same. Uh, there's some new ones here which are probably for the radio chip set. These are the same, that one's got some vias in it which didn't happen on the old one. And the JTAG headers in a slightly different position. Other than that, the back is pretty much the same. There's also a brand new official case for the Pi Zero and it has a base and three lid options, one closed, one with GPIO access and one which can sit a camera in it and that's what this special little ribbon cable is for. Camera, click that into place and close and look at that. Gorgeous. You've got a little doorbell camera or camera that you can wear, mount somewhere. So I've paired this Bluetooth keyboard with the Pi Zero W and I've also attached the camera. Now we'll use the Bluetooth keyboard to get the camera to shoot a little video clip. Hi. I can't wait to get this Raspio inspiring pyramid working with Wi-Fi control. You can find out more about this on Thursday at 9am when I'm launching a Kickstarter campaign. Well I think the Zero W is great, I love the antenna and the new case. I hope you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv, thank you for watching.